Kate, ladies, this is going to show you how to edit your photo for your Andy Warhol pop art portrait. So you've been searching online, hopefully you found a photo that you like, and when you get that photo, so I'm going to use this one down here, um, when you click on the photos, you'll actually see, or when you hover over them, you'll see sizes in the bottom. Try and pick something with a super large number, preferably in the thousands. Um, and this one at least has a thousand on one side. But the larger the photo, the better it's going to work for you. But you find your photo, and when you save it, or when you copy it rather, um, don't, don't copy it from the little thumbnail that's in Google Images. Go to the original source of the photo if you can by clicking on it. And then to copy a photo, all you're going to do is hit Control on your keyboard, click on your image, and all um, these options pop up. So click Copy Image. You're going to do your Word document. And if you just do Command-V, it'll paste it for you. And this is where you should have thought about what size you want to make your artwork. I want to do um, nine images of her, of her face. And if I want to make them to be fit in 18 by 18 inch artwork size, then each image has to be 6 inches by 6 inches to fit. So if I go to the corner, um, and if I drag it in and out, see it gives me little numbers of what size I want to do. So first thing I want to do is crop this down, because the image is a rectangle, I want it to be a square. So if I click on the tab for picture format, like if I have my artwork clicked and selected, I have a picture format tab, I click on that, I'm going to play around with cropping, and I'm going to get rid of all that negative space that I don't want. And see how it's giving me sizes? That's going to be really helpful. Now I may as well just make this the same size square now, because I want it to be 6 inches. So, I now need to make this bigger. So if I click on it again, and just drag the corner, I can make it large or small. Now it's important that I drag the corner, because watch what happens if I drag the side. See how she spreads out? That's terrible. So I'm going to do Command Z to undo that. If I take the corner and I drag just the corner, then I can get something to be larger. So now if I want her to be 6 by 6, this works great. Keep in mind though, if you want something to be um, 8 by 10, this computer paper you're working on is 8.5 by 11 high, and there's built-in margins. If you've taken an English class, you should know about margins for your papers. So if you need to get rid of your margins in order to fit your artwork and make it larger, the way to get rid of your margins is to go to Layout, go to Margins, and you're on Normal, but you go to Custom, you can hit zero for all these top, bottom, left, right, and hit OK. It's going to say you're going outside the printable area. That's fine. Hit ignore. And now see how you have all this more room. So if I want to make her 8x8, eight eight, um, I could drag her out to be even larger. So that's how you change your margins. And if you want to do 8x10, you'll have to keep on playing around with everything. You have to make something kind of narrow, make it a rectangle, fill the page as best as possible. But it's going to take some problem solving. However, I know I want her to be 6x6, six six, so I'm going to go ahead and make her small again. And what you should do after you have your photograph and it's the right size, then I want you to click on it, hit Command C, and then paste it below it, hit Command V. So now you have two of the same photographs. For the second one, click on it. And when you click on it, again, you get that picture format tab. And now what I want you to do is go to Corrections, go all the way down to Picture Correction Options. And you're going to play with these controls until you've made it high contrast black and white. Right now it's black and white with a whole lot of gray. You can play with the sharpness. You can play with the brightness. And most importantly, you can play with the contrast. But you want to make sure you're keeping the eyes, the nose, the mouth, that they're all visible. And you want to make sure that um, you don't have any areas that are gray. See how 
I get more gray as that dial goes down. And even after you change the contrast, you can go back and change the brightness to give yourself more or less detail, see what works well. Um, I'm going to stop right about there. And the last thing I'm going to do is um, if I click off of this, see how I have no idea where my picture ends? Just to make sure I can see where the border is, because that'll be helpful later. I'm going to go to Picture Format. And I'm going to find this little icon for picture border. I'm going to click on that. Um, if you click the drop down arrow, you can just choose black. And if you click off it now, see why I have a border? That's going to be really helpful. Um, so you don't need to delete your margins if your image fits on your page like mine originally did. But if you have a large image, it's going to be 8 by 10 or um, 9 by 9 or something, I would go ahead and delete your margins. Make sure you have two copies. And then once you have your original and you have your copy, save this work and then go ahead and print it to the art lab. And I would go ahead and print two copies. To print, you just go to File, Print. It'll come up as Art Lab. Make sure you have two copies and then go ahead and hit Print. And that's it.